people know that war is not a game show. War is a reality that is killing people every single day. And the media is colluding with the government now. And of course, this is a GE building, which brings good things to death because GE is one of the biggest war profiteers in the world. Now your hands and out. And you see Does that have sound? It's an obscenity. It's an obscenity that they're making a game out of war, and Wesley Clark should be ashamed of himself. And the next step for this movement is to find out who the sponsors are, and we're going to move on them to. This is so disrespectful, even to the people that are fighting in a real war. You think Wesley is a war whore? Yeah. <laughs> A war. They don't have enough money. They can't. They can't deal with something cultural that, that they can put on television, like a symphony orchestra or a classical ballet or folk music or something that that is intelligent, where people can learn from. I mean, this is God. Civilians are dying in this war you're buying, Obama. We need a new plan, Obama. We send you this song. It's not that you'll never go wrong, but we must remind you we won't stand behind you. getting Colonel Sanders to represent chickens. <laughs> Personally, why is it important to be out today? Well, it's personally important for me to be out here today as a member of Veterans for Peace because I belong to an organization that is trying to abolish war. And what NBC is doing with their new reality show is beyond repulsive. War, why is that? War is not a game. War is about killing. War is ugly. War is not fun. And that's the message that I am here to try to get out to the American people. There is nothing entertaining about war. And it's about time that the American people realize that by watching shows like this and patronizing NBC, all we are doing is contributing to permanent war. 
which makes nobody richer except Wall Street. That's what war is in the world. the details. He knows what I'm doing and he's fine with it. And he's an officer. CRT. Hi, I'm a reporter with the AMU York newspaper. Can I talk to you a quick second? Certainly. Yeah, she was from German uh, television. Oh, I thought it was RT. No, oh. yeah. I'm, I've been on Russia today, but the Germans are interested. I thought we would you know, this. Captain America does not approve of this television program. I, th I think this is going right. to be... Sorry if I didn't you. Right. I think that this action is going to start something new. It's like a new threat. We had an extraordinary response of signatures, petitions, outrage. The Nobel laureates got together and wrote a letter to the CEO of uh, NBC. And I think now we're going to find out who the sponsors are and boycott them. Well, his sign said a lot of suicides in the military. Oh, terrible. There were more suicides this year than soldiers killed. This was reported in the New York Times that more veterans killed themselves. What do you think causes that? I think that it's... Guilty conscience? I, yeah, I think they are doing things that they don't really want to do. It goes against human nature to be involved in that kind of thing. And it's not as if we're being invaded and we're defending ourselves. It's very abstract why we're fighting these things. They don't make any sense. They're not in self-defense. Do you think 9-11 was an inside job? 
I don't know. I don't even want to go there because the facts are so insane. But even if it wasn't, I mean, we, we lose more people in automobile accidents than we lost in the World Trade Center, and yet they're using it to cut down on all our civil liberties. They suspended habeas corpus, indefinite detention. This is like the Magna Carta doesn't exist anymore. And they're using 9-11 to, to diminish all of our civil liberties. Rule by fear? Well, they did that again. They did it with the communists, and when the Cold War ended, they lost their enemy. So now they have terrorists. It's the same force. As a matter of fact, at the UN two weeks ago, there was a huge effort to pass an arms trade treaty, and the National Rifle Association was down there lobbying if the United States blocked a global arms trade treaty to stop the traffic in international arms because we are totally captured by the military, industrial, academic, congressional complex. Our government is very corrupt right now. Thank you, Ellis. Uh -huh. What do you think? Hello, Joe. What's it all about, man? War is not a game. Do you know any war horse? War horse? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know war, war profiteers. Uh, How about Wesley? Oh, yeah. Uh, Your Patty, do it louder. If you call me Granny, I'm gonna whack you. I said Patty. You did? Yeah. All right, I apologize. Uh, it'd be nice to be whacked anyhow. Come on, give me a hit. Uh, how are you doing? Oh. <laughs> how are you doing? All right. So, uh, what is your comment, young man? My comment? If you take something that uh, rhymes like war, horror, uh, who would it apply to? <laughs> I don't know. A lot of people who profiteer from war. You know, I guess a lot of people who don't even know they profiteer from war. I don't know. It's just, it's just so How about the people on the show? Uh, Wesley Clark? Uh, what is it? Why should people go home? You know, 
people who, even it looks like even generals who retire from the military need money, need a way to make money, need a way to so-called enhance their life. And I guess one of the only ways to go is to reach out to the 1%. You know, reach out to the very rich, to corporate America, to the media, to the entertainment world. And it's it's a sad state here in the year 2012. It's, it's really sad. I'm glad to be here. Good for you. Shame on NBC. Shame on them. Shame on NBC. Sponsors the pharmaceutical companies, you know, to pay for the pills that will make people well. Yeah, that's good. Less depressed. <laughs> now, I was reading a Did you read the Nicholas Kristof article in the New York Times? Yeah. yeah it focused on one particular family, one particular individual, a brilliant man who no, no, yeah, yeah. had too many concussions and his mind is gone. Well, they're not even doing that. They're not taking care of these guys who are coming. Just cut them loose and they go off and shoot themselves. Now, a cynic might say that's part of the design. Are we going that far? Or don't we just care enough to be that cynic? I don't think we care enough. If we cared enough, we would figure it out. So if I was the executive at NBC who was responsible for the show being on, no. I'm yes, standing right here. Uh, what are you going to tell me? Oh, like Olympic spirit stuff. Olympic, wonderful. Olympics are the opposite of war. They're all about dignity and hard work and thoughtfulness and generosity and good sportsmanship, and that has nothing to do with war. All right, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Would you care to add anything to that? It says war is hell. How do you know? Yeah.
putting on this show that glorifies war and makes fun of war and portrays war as a game. War is not a game, it never was and it never will be. It's about killing people and most of the time you're killing people you don't even know them. So that's my message today. Sure, war is not a game. Well, I, I think it has no basis in reality. It is, it is total garbage, for lack of a better word. No question? So you would say this war game. The show, the show that NBC is putting on, what the difference is between that and the reality of veterans coming home, I would ask NBC to take a camera and a crew and go inside any military hospital that is presently under the VA auspices and see what's going on and find out if people that have lost their legs, that were lucky enough, if we could use that word, to survive, find out what they think about this grand war for Wall Street. I would be very curious. We know that's not going to happen because NBC is nothing but a corporate entity of war. So there's nothing but a propaganda tool. Talk about the steps that have been taken so far in order to put pressure on NBC. Well, I think demonstrations like this is probably the most visual and vocal way you could do it. But there's certainly a way to do it as far as arousing the public to demand better from NBC. I find that kind of hard to believe. I'm a pessimist, so I don't honestly think that's going to happen. But I think it's well worth the try for NBC to find out just how the public reacts to this. And NBC thinks about what thing. Joe, what channel is um, Democracy Now on? Is it 72? 1.34 in the morning. No, she said 8 to 8.15. What time is your show on? And 34, Democracy Now! is 8 to 9, 8.58. Yeah. Uh, channel 34? Okay, but also my father, so that's where my time is going. I'm calling the guy who was supposed to come and get back to us. I'm going to be spoiling it. Have you had a chance to rap on this, Cameron? No, not yet. So, uh, Did you take a picture of the, of the petition? It's up there somewhere. Big, big petition with about 18,000 names. Hi, Joe. Hey, hey. So what do you want to know? What do you want to know? Do soldiers feel they have a guilty conscience when they kill uh, people in a war that shouldn't be? Probably some of them do. Well, that doesn't look like a protester necessarily. What is the uh, statistics on suicides? I don't know, but I know that it's greater than the number killed in battle. I know that. Did you know that? Today I learned it already. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry? Where's the petition? What petition? Supposed to be a bunch of paper? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Maybe over there. Harry. Really? 
not easy being Captain America when a game like this comes along. I have to justify all this stuff. But I refuse. I refuse because war is not a game. Would you say that U.S. wars are criminal? To a large extent, but they could only be criminal if people know about them. Now, as the wife of a picture, like to, uh, you think 9-11 was a psyop? I can tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Stars playing at war. We just came back from the Mets for Peace annual convention in Miami and we got to see the reality and hear the stories, the suicides, the PTSD, all the absolutely men without arms, men with crutches. And this this is really infuriating. And just do it at ratings because most of their shows are in the toilets. They don't do anything. And GE, of course, as the parent company, is busy manufacturing Trident missiles and who knows what. Anything for money. We were in Canada and we walked through the malls. You see not one piece of camouflage, no camouflage clothing, no war games. We are being brainwashed endlessly. Violence, violence, war, 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 and weapons. Endless weapons. So I don't know what's going to happen to this country. Just in time for the football season. Good to see you at all the best places. What's the next one? Thursday. What's Thursday? There's another uh, demo. Uh, I hope it's not around here. I hate this neighborhood. No, downtown. <laughs> downtown. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Oh, buddy. It's getting to that point for a lot of people. Hello, Joe. You see the room in there? You want to check the Oh, you've got your beer. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Just spin it up. <laughs> oh, that's why he's coming. He's coming. Oh, and then one of them's getting married. We should all tell the president at whitehouse.gov. No more endless wars. Congress worked on health care, not for endless wars. Congress works on new jobs, not for endless wars. We want to work in opportunities at home, not for endless wars. Let's all work together.
um, turn more into another one of their sick cultural reality shows. That the people of this city have been through 9-11. We know, we know what it really means. Nobody in this city wanted to go to war over 9-11. what you're doing here today and what you think of what's happening. Hi, I'm Joe Friendly. I have a daily show on public access and on commercial channel in Manhattan. So I will put this on to uh, spread it past the few people that went by and who read the different items in AM New York or whatever. I think uh, my hat uh, has some of the story. It says, uh, U.S. wars are criminal, that all of them are without justification as our Constitution is supposed to limit wars to the necessity of defense. None of our wars are defensive wars, and the war they're planning in Iran is another tragedy in the making. There should not be a war against Iran. If we walked around Iran, it would look like, like right here. Why cause any destruction? It's insane, it's wrong, it's an indication that our government is actually corrupt, terminally corrupt, 
and hopefully the 9-11, excuse me, the 99% can uh, create some alternative to replace our government because it is uh, turned against our people. It's a, uh, a tragedy of bribery ruling Washington rather than reason. We want reason. We want that kind of government, a government up for it by the people. We don't have that now, and war is an indication of the pathology of our government. Thank you, Joe. No, I want to also say it. 9-11 no, is an inside job. Anything you want to say. <laughs> it was an inside job. The evidence has accumulated. The best evidence so far is that they found in the dust a very high-tech explosive nanothermite uh, in a form particularly for spraying on surfaces and that explains how all the concrete in the buildings disappeared into very fine dust. There's no other explanation. It was exploded. Thank you, Joe. Okay. Joe Friendly. This is Joe Schroeder. Good to meet you. Uh, hi, Mr. Schroeder. So have you been talked enough? I think so. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> Has this improved your social life? Has it? Not really. Okay. <laughs> I see it puts quite a dent in my social life. <laughs> so what's your card game of choice? My card game of choice is, actually I don't play cards. Good for you. Right. <laughs> what's your uh, website of choice? My website of choice is Peace Action. Have you found any other ones you uh, go to once in a while? I go to Brooklyn for Peace. I go to uh, Military Families. Um, I think that's about it. Mostly I'm on email and I do get the news. No YouTube? Not really. No, I'm not a YouTube fan. <laughs> Unless someone sends me something, then I'll, then I'll play it. You like RT? RT. I, I do like RT. I don't go on the website, but I watch RT and I watch Al Jazeera English. It's surprising how well produced it is, isn't it? What, Al Jazeera yeah, English? RT. RT, yeah, it is. I like Tom Hartman. Can you imagine a, an alternative government where we begin a government in waiting with Tom Hartman and uh, Chris Hedges? Who would you like on your government? Tom Hartman. <laughs> I would, I would vote for him for president any time. I, would I think really, I share that, yeah. He's, he's, a very, he's a very rational person, which is... And good looking, too. Yeah, which is unusual. <laughs> In the books he's written, uh, way back he wrote uh, uh, Criticism If Corporations Rule the World. I haven't really read his books, but I should. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
Done, is it? <laughs> Anyhow, is there any chance of my getting from you buying or whatever the um, you know the DVD you did of the uh, Iran um, teaching a few weeks ago? That was it was two months ago now. Actually, it was in June, June 28th. Or have you tossed all the extra ones out? You may have. Tell me more. I oh, oh. It was June 28th, and it was the one with Phyllis Venice and um, uh, Nima, and uh, it was on uh, Iran and what we are doing in Iran and what we shouldn't be doing in Iran, and it was at the uh, church on uh, Lexington Avenue and 81st Street, that one. Does that sound... Uh, I see a certain look in your eye. Okay. <laughs> yes. It's on YouTube. Huh? It's on YouTube? Oh. Oh. Nobody else will speak with us. They're separate. Nima is separate and Phyllis is separate. I, I see. So go into each one separate. Right. Thank you. Okay. Is he in security or is he up in production? He's the head of security. Yeah, he's, to security. he's the head of security, which is much higher than if we were to go to the desk and just leave it with the clerk at the All desk. Right, so where is he? Right here. Right over there. On the phone. We'll let him finish his conversation. He's talking. No, he's trying to get somebody. See you later. You ready? Action. 
show at 10 in the morning. A daily public access cable TV show. Do this oh, okay. now. Oh, now? Yeah, now, right oh, now. Oh, you don't. Yeah, no, what they're doing is they're waiting until we get information through it because they already thought this through and then we give it to them and that's the end of it. They hope we die as soon as we walk away. Oh, really? Do you, you have some experience in the past for why you believe that? Please, these people are not as smart, just in the you said you have a son, you but you better be ready to roll. He is going early September. Ask him, Stan. This will be Well, if I have 10 more minutes, I've got a whole show. Okay. Excuse me, can we have your name? Wow. Yes, she wants to just do this now. His name is Jim Kelly. He's doing an article for the Huffington Post. So, you know, that's really, really important. It's probably the most important online political paper in the country. And if they don't answer us, and they make us wait out on the street, they don't even send anybody else down. And they have a community. Thank you. Jim Meyer's calling me back. Can I email you when you can call me around tonight to see if anything can change? Sure. Okay. All right, thanks. Appreciate your job. See you. Oh, wonderful. I'm doing the photo essay. Second week. Stay with it. I will. Yeah. We need the truth. Yeah. I'm not getting very much of that. Yeah. Well, I feel, I feel good and I found this on my own. I feel good about uh, The news agency. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And uh, I think she's going to win. Sorry? So it's only uh, distributed to people among the people who are in Grady. Oh. Have parts of it on their website. So. It hasn't been like this very long. Thank you. You too. Thanks. Well, it's the same old militarization as you. Yeah. Continue. You know, we're, we're in entertainment media. Military industrial yeah. It's really it's, it's grown so it's so hard. I 
I should hold everything? What? Do I have to hold for you? No. <laughs> A nice Jewish boy can do it like that. Yeah, Are you a veteran? Tell me a little story, what do you think? Pardon? How bad was it when you were playing war games? Jay Wing, we're leaving in a minute. Uh -oh. Okay, I uh, fought the SS. That's the, uh, which, the Secret Service of the U.S.? <laughs> they were better. You know, World War II, Germany. And, uh... And so that brings me here. As you watched the war portrayed over the years on TV, uh, what kind of cheating did you feel was going on? Oh, that's too much to answer in a brief time. But uh, plenty? Of course. Of course. Of the course. glorification part? Pardon? The glorification part? Yeah. Sure. And... Uh, up close, yeah. war is ugly. Lies, 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 with very few exceptions. Uh, some of the movies made right after the war ended were more truthful. You know, in, in Italy and England and so forth. But and there are war, there are films made in World War One. Uh, there's one, a French one called Wooden Crosses, which is high, high power. There's uh, a number, of, most of them are glory and duty and uh, bang, bang, you're dead. We have a major embassy covers. Can't get lost? Or anything? Oh, there it is. So, did you deliver or are you waiting? Deliver what? The petitions, do you? I didn't see no. the petitions. Joe, no. no. down. Okay. Hold down. They want to give the petitions. Where is he? Right there. Metro at NYC Metro at MFSL. 
Yeah. MF Military so International okay. Organization. And what is your name? Leonel. L I O N E L L E. And we're going to. And we're, your last name? We'll be, we'll be back there soon. And what is your last name? H A M A N A K A. That's it, right? And you have a title for this group? Or? Uh, you're a representative of the group, you have like a, like a president, vice president, type of stuff. You're just a member of NYC Metro at MFSO.org. Correct. And that's where we can reach you with funds. Yeah. Okay. NYC at MFSO.org. That's our email address. This is Anna. NYC at MFSO. So right. not NYC. Yeah. Right. No, but the name of our chapter is MFSO. Okay. This is Anna. Anna, I have her card. Okay. I don't yeah. have a card. No, that's why I actually, because I have Anna's card. Can I see what one sheet looks like? Is it, is it more than one name on a sheet? I think these things. Do you want to? Oh, she gave it to me, but I don't know. You want to see what, what's on the, what, what are they? What are you talking about? What's on each sheet? Names? The names and zip codes across the country. That's only for three days. It's 17,000 people. So we're just going to keep on keeping collecting signatures. I called up to Captain Jones' office and he told me it's all this right down, right now. Don't push kids to war. We don't want NBC inciting kids to war. We don't want NBC inciting kids to war. They should shut that stupid show down right now. Don't push kids into war.